is a chemical that is most commonly found in citrus fruits, most notably oranges. It's used in foods and candies such as gum, for example, to give them all a citrus-like taste. Limonene is readily used in the perfume industry as well due to its notable fruity scent. It's by far my favorite chemical compound, and today we're going to be extracting some from some orange peels. The materials you will need for this experiment include about 270 milliliters of water, six medium oranges, and a simple distillation setup. Now to get started, we're going to go ahead and grab a pair of gloves and a citrus zester of some kind. It looks like we have about six oranges to work with, but you can definitely do this experiment with just three or four. Next, go ahead and remove the peel from your oranges. Remember just to remove the outer peel, which is the orange part, and not the inner pith, which is the white part. The inner pith does not contain as much limonene as the peel itself. After you've zested all your oranges, we're going to transfer all the zest into a beaker. Once all the orange zest is transferred to the beaker, we're now going to wrap it with tin foil to keep the zest from drying out. And for anyone in the comments that's going to say something about me wasting the oranges, I did make orange juice from them, and boy was it good. Store bought orange juice definitely can't compare to this. Now that we've made sure nothing has gone to waste, the next step is to set up our distillation apparatus. Now what I have is a 150 milliliter round bottom flask. We're first going to add boiling beads. These will keep everything from bumping and hopefully keep everything at a nice even boil. We're going to place a few of these in the round bottom flask and then on to adding our orange zest. I would definitely recommend using a funnel to add the orange zest or you're going to be having a real hard time just getting any of this into this really long neck flask. Even with a funnel, it'll take a minute to get everything into the round bottom, but after we finally finish that, we're ready to add our water. It will take two distillations to distill all of our orange peel since we have such a small system. So we're going to add about half of our orange peel and 135 milliliters of water to this first round and then the same to the second. Right now, just add 135 milliliters of water and half of the orange peel to the round bottom and then we'll set up our condenser and vacuum up. Once I finally got a decent flow rate of cold water in the condenser, I light up the alcohol burner to start the distillation process. If you don't have an alcohol burner, you can use a regular hot plate as well. As you can see here, I have everything running. So basically what's happening here in layman's terms of course is the heat is causing the orange zest and the water mixture to boil which in turn is producing steam. This steam is mostly water, but it is carrying small amounts of limonene in the steam inside the condenser. The condenser is cold enough to condense the steam and the limonene mixture back into a liquid phase and drip down into the beaker as a mixture of water and limonene oil. As you can see here, we're getting up to a boil. About 10 minutes after reaching the boiling point, we started to see a liquid condensing in the column and in turn dripping into the beaker. We then allow for the distillation process to continue for about an hour or so and then we get ready to set up our second distillation. Before you start your second run, you want to make sure to clean your apparatus. So we're going to go through everything again and allow the distillation to continue for another hour or so. After this, you should have a decent amount of distillate and you should see a film of oil formed at the top of the liquid. This is our desired limonene product.
We're going to separate the limonene from the water using a separatory foam. After the separation is completed, it is then stored and labeled under the appropriate chemical name. This limonene oil we've extracted contains 90% limonene compound along with the other 10% being other terpenes and flavonoids. Getting an even higher purity of 99% or above would require a technique called chromatography which I will not be demonstrating in this video. I hope you guys liked the video. These are some other topics I'm going to be covering in my future videos. If there are any you'd like me to cover first, let me know in the comments, otherwise my next video will probably be on extracting nicotine from tobacco. Thanks for watching and please rate, comment, and subscribe and make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video.